What's up, what's up, douchebags? Let's do a quick video real fast. I'm going to play Final Fantasy all day and shit like that. Um, I guess this is sort of in response to what's happening with that shitty botched surgery, also failed K-pop star, Jessie, not Jessica, who just did music. Some other one named Jesse who was going to do music. Look, first off, I'm starting to see a trend. It seems like all of these K-pop bitches have short hair when they're not doing shit. And then they put on the weaves and all that shit when they're doing shit. So, like, honestly, it seems like that day that I met Horfany, I met her out of character. That's why she like was spazzing and didn't know what to do. Because she seems like, sit, stay, come here, come here, treat like, that's how it seems like she is. She's, like, literally trained to do shit like that. Like, act. All right, be a smut whore. Okay, go dance. Treat. And it's, like, just kimchi and shit like that. She works for, like, bullshit. <clears throat> but also, so, look. The, the, um, also, if you look at the symbols, uh, I saw some of her, like, musics where she's being a whore on the camera. And it's all like checkerboards and whatnot looking like, I guarantee you she's been some kind of human traffic or pay for play or whatever the fuck it is. Anyways, so the, the, the gist of her case is some douchebag named Koala attacked some guy in South Korea in the Guaylo four and quarter of Itawan. <clears throat> now the thing about that is that guy Koala supposedly in some kind of a Korean gang. Now, again, Remember when I was saying, I maybe, maybe I should go back to actually naming my videos, but um, in one of the videos I was talking about, talking about how like criminals back in the day used to be actually criminals, like that dude, Schemer Drucci, he came here from like, according to like his diary or whatever the fuck it's called, he came here from like Sicily or whatever and was trying to like sell like fruit or whatever the fuck it was and wasn't making any money. So like allegedly some cops accused him of something he didn't do he says handcuffed him to one of their cars and like dragged him through before there was highways like like dirt roads and then they like beat him with their nightclubs and were like that's what you get you stupid italian so he was like fuck it become a gangster and he like super hated cops and he died chasing down some cops that he had already gotten away from shooting them and they shot him back and he died um that's what gangsters used to be okay that's why when they make all those old school films it's like wow those gangster films but like nowadays gangsters are pussies like in america gangsters mean you you idolize people who are giving it up to p diddy behind the scenes anyways so in korea what gangsters are nowadays i'm sure back in the old days there were some crazy ass yakuza cut off your finger gangsters back in the day nowadays gangsters are pudgy fat wannabe gangster producers using auto-tune which means they're probably drugging bitches um and then sucker punching people who are trying to get a photo taken if it hadn't been for the cct cameras that guy would have been telling the story of Remember that time when I got into a fight and blah? That's not getting into a fight. That's that's sucker punching someone who's not even a threat to you. But that's gangster. The reason why they do that is most of these people, like if you're in a shithole like Itawan in Korea and you're a gangster there, what are you a gangster of? Like you really have two options. You can be the gangster of like the Korean takeout places or of the money laundering going on through through the, through the music industry. And it seems like they have these bitches fucking trained to act one way on camera and a totally different way off camera. Because the same shit Jesse is doing is the same shit Horfany was trying to do. Trying to like pretend, oh, I'm totally innocent, totally innocent. Well, I have all this evidence. According to Co Cookie Lights thingy, the reason why everyone's mad at Jesse, and they're, they're trying to like downplay it, you can totally tell, but like they're mad at her because it's all on camera. You can't deny shit if it's all on camera. Now, can you? You can try, but it's all on camera. Same thing with Horfany. Horfany's trying to play it off as, oh, I didn't steal. I was, no, 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 no. This is me. This is my big comeback. But it's, it's all documented. And then other people were taking bribes. And this is the thing. Her handler is that douchebag Kevin Nish, who was getting pimped out. Okay. He was getting rugged. 
and graped at P. Diddy parties. I, I think he signed up for that. I think I, th I think he knew he would become the head of the pr uh, of the Grammy Award hand around or thingy if he went along with that. But okay, sure, whatever. So that guy is literally connected to P. Diddy by like a denomination of one. Like, like they probably text each other. The same way Horfany was trying to text me all day, that's probably what they do. They text each other all day long because they're fucking hopped up on pink cocaine and all that bullshit. And um, I just wanted to be left alone so I could study. I was like, what the fuck are you? I was like, what are you on, you stupid whore? Why could you not just chill the fuck out? Anyways, um, but P. Diddy is literally in prison for running a criminal enterprise through music industry. And that stupid other whore, Jesse, is in trouble for association with a producer in Korean music industry who's supposedly in a gang. What a tough guy gang is called Koala. Aw, that's so cute. Koala, eucalyptus. Oh. It's that fucking uh, Rue Bear. I used to watch that Rue Bear cartoon when I was a kid. The Adventures of Little Koala. Time to play with Rue Bear and his friends. Uh, what a fucking little pussy wannabe gangster. But no, but that's what it is. They're literally a bunch of pussy wannabe gangsters who only got in their positions because they probably give it up to P. Diddy or something like that. It seems like the thing is... Uh, look, if you had to ask me, my involvement, it seems like when, when California went... They allowed all the immigrants, all the illegal immigrants to start voting in the 80s. All of the Republicans from there moved to Virginia. Those were super like Dungeons and Dragons nerds playing GURPS. And if they got into positions like magistrate and delegate, they would get all those like prison reports first of what the prisoners are trying to do to get away with bullshit. And then because they're GURPS nerds, they would get people like me who they could like feed orders to allegedly and all that bullshit and tell them to do things that seem to be working or almost worked off of, off of the fucking, cause that's kind of what it seems like. Anyways. Um, and from playing that version of GURPS, what I found is that almost everything is some kind of corrupt it seems like uh, the the way that people get ahead in these weird positions is they it's like some kind of a weird Sith apprentice thingy, but instead of the force and lightsabers, it's poking each other in the pooper. And I guess you're supposed to like be like, thank you, master, may I have another one? And they give you money and fame and all that bullshit. But the reason why that always ends up not working is because when you do that, by definition, you are literally getting a bunch of pussies and cowards and wannabes because no one else no one else would do that. Anyone with any self-respect, like even like it like no one would do that. Like it would just like why would you do that? It's like everything Horfany when she was trying to like bribe me and all that bullshit on record and I turned it down. It was like, none of this makes sense. It's not even that much money. In like two years when it's all gone, what would I do then? It's so retarded. Um, no, but I want to remind everyone that when I traced the, the she showed me a fake crypto exchange that was Front end was a fake coin carp. Back end was Binance and the wallet addresses were through Hooboy. And she was like, no, no, no. This is just my uncle's virtual private cloud. And I was just taking down all the notes and I went to the DNS records and got all that. And hey, DNS record people, this is illegal. You, if, if you don't shut them down, then you can get sued. And they were like, we'll shut them down. And while all that was going on, she was like, crap. I, you, you're not going to take the bribe? And I was like, no. And then she sent some lawyer af after me to, to stop all the shit I was doing. Uh, and the Secret Service got involved and they probably took a bribe. And then what ended up happening was there was a, some kind of a joint operation between Interpol, believe it or not, some not corrupt U.S. 
people and um, Chinese CCP crime division, and they found a underground black market ring of basically all kinds of scam shit from all over Asia that literally had links to the Joe Bidens. So how would you do shit like that? You would launder the money through shitty music. How do you think someone like that stupid whore Jesse even got famous? I see now why Jessica, the the good one, I really did have the hots, like, to be quite honest, really, it's like, damn, there's just so many of them. Like, and then like, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where like, if you change your answer, then you're full of shit. So, oh, fuck, I said Tiffany and that one got views. Well, I have to say Tiffany, otherwise I'm full of shit. And actually, that even kind of works too because they were trying to like, bribe me or whatever the fuck and I was like not knowing I just thought it was just tipping her stupid friends didn't know it was P. Diddy and his stupid cronies but no it's all corrupt like the music industry is corrupt like the only way you're gonna get people willing to do things like that is if they are corrupt and one of the reasons why they want to censor everyone and control everything on the internet is because the internet is the great equalizer. Now you can prove it. Okay, well, you can like Tiffany more than you like me. You can think she's pretty, and you can think I'm dumb and stupid all you want to. I have evidence. I have evidence backed by Interpol that this stupid whore is involved in some kind of a massive criminal operation, and people have been going to jail over it. So probably that stupid whore, Jesse, koala bullshit, She's probably she's probably the front person for all their criminal organizations because there again there is no way these girls are making the money they claim to make and they don't have they're not they're not liquid for shit that's why they have to steal but behind the scenes they're laundering all the stolen funds through the girls what are they gonna do say no go teach trombone at the m middle school. They couldn't even do that because it seems like there's an oversaturation of stupid K-pop bitches with too much filler and all that bullshit. This was like I, the level of corruption involved. Like I, I would like this is so easy to see if you're just not if you just if you don't watch TV. This is so easy to figure out. Everyone just watches TV. <clears throat> that that's what it is. Don't watch TV. <clears throat> if you don't watch TV, they can't do the little brain power tricks over on you. That's literally what it is.